Whoa, that outro had no mistakes. First time. First time. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sahar. Today is gonna be a summer haul. I bought a few items for summer. Now, some of these pieces I actually bought during the winter time, and some of these pieces I bought just like yesterday. First piece is this necklace and bracelet combo. Oh, and earring combo. I found this off Facebook Marketplace. I really like the design. It's like a little clover. And I bought it mainly because it matches with my Rosefield watch, which has like a gold exterior and a mother of pearl interior. I also got this on Facebook Marketplace. I will be making a video on all the things I bought on Facebook Marketplace because the deals on there are crazy. So I just think that they look so nice together and that is why I bought this. Okay, the next thing I bought was from Facebook Marketplace again. So this is so cute. I believe it's a dupe for one of those more expensive bags. But look how cute this is. I think it matches with a lot of summer clothes and summer dresses. You just fit your wallet, your cards, and your phone, and you're good. One of the other things I bought is from French Baskets. So it's this really nice basket right here, and it's really wide. It's beautifully made, and it was I believe like $50. I wanted to buy all of their baskets but I decided to choose one that I would use for picnics and this one is big enough and it has a nice handle. It seems sturdy and I really like it. Now I did splurge on three dresses from Zara this year which I'm happy about because I used to buy so many things from so many places and I have been trying to be more smart with how I spend my money. This is the first dress from Zara. I will be linking their codes down below. I absolutely love this. I wore this the other day to a date night and it fit me like a glove. It's linen and it's green. They have a white version as well. And I really, really like this. I'm in the size medium and it's super comfortable. It is one of my favorite summer dresses right now. Another Zara dress that I splurged on was this one, this is in the size large. The problem with Zara is their dresses have different sizes that fit different ways. But I love this dress because it's so simple. The pattern on here is very beautiful and elegant. The only thing is it's a little itchy, just a little bit. But I love how the sweetheart neckline is a little bit different because of this little cutout here. I can't wait to wear it this summer. Now the last dress was a lock purchase because this went viral and it sold out everywhere but I was able to snag it. This is the viral white dress from Zara that everybody wants to get their hands on. It is a beautiful piece. The only thing is it runs small. Right now this is a medium but I can't fit it. Once I got it it sold out like I should have gotten a large. I went with a medium. My bad. So this is pretty tight on the chest area especially. Honestly I don't know what to do with it. If I can't fit it I will be selling it on Facebook marketplace but it is really really lovely my favorite bit is how long these little bow ties are that is just i think that little detail just makes the dress i bought these at h&m and they're both sunnies so the first one is this really squared off like edgy type of sunnies i do have a video trying all of my sunnies on and i'll be linking that up here if you would like to watch that i just thought these were super edgy and cute i have a black version of these from a different store and i love those i always wear those so when i saw these i said yes now another one from H&M are these as well. This I asked my sister to get for me for my birthday. And these are much like edgier and they're a little bit more out there. I don't think I can wear these to work because they are like a vibe, definitely. I feel like a mean person when I wear this. I'm very happy to have these two turtle sunnies in my collection. Okay, next we're approaching more like the skincare makeup category. The first will be self tanners. So I recently discovered my love for self-tanning. I have a video of my self-tanning routine. I'll be linking that up here. In that video, I used the Bondi Sands Aero Ultra Dark Tanning Mousse. And I recently received this as a gift. This was from the Saint-Tropez Golden Getaway package. And it comes with a mitt, a bronzing water face mist, and the advanced one hour tan. I do have a video on this and I'll be linking that up here. This is my favorite tan so far. I've used this twice already and I prefer it to the Bondi Sands one. I love the color. 
it's very golden on me it's very easy to apply and it fades really gracefully now the face mist i actually also really love because i didn't know that a product like this existed all you have to do with this is mist your face and the skin will start to bronze and i do have a video on this i'll be linking that up here i do love using these in tandem with each other the only thing though is i love the smell of this not so much this i bought two bronzing glowing products this year and it is both from the drugstore the first one is the elf skin bronzing drops and the second is the l'oreal gloomy glotion it's in the shade medium and this is in the shade pure gold this is not deep enough i actually have it on my chest area right now i don't know if you can tell but it is not super deep it's actually a little bit pinker so i am curious to try the deep version of this the bronzing drops however when i put it on my skin it gives me a more tanning effect i actually have a video of this and i'll be linking that up here i filmed that video right before i filmed this so you can tell i have the elf right here and i have another product on this other hand and you can tell the difference one thing that i decided to splurge on was a nail diy kit so i used to get my nails professionally done every month that's $70 out my pocket every single month just to get acrylics and I realized that it was too much for me to be spending that amount of money every month so I stopped doing that for about a year and then I come to the drugstore just yesterday and I see this thing this is the Dashing Diva Gel Extend Starter Kit. And I also bought the Magic Off Remover to remove this. So this is basically like a acrylic set where it has an LED lamp. It has a special glue and it has some blank nails that you press onto your nail. And then you cure it. So I actually have this on right now and I have a video coming up on this product because it does say it lasts for two weeks and I want to test that. So far, I am loving it. It does feel so sturdy and does feel like acrylic. I'm excited for this. We'll see if this works. The next thing I got was for my brows. This is the e.l.f. Brow Laminating Gel. They had a brow freeze type of product, but I wasn't really interested in that because it was in a pot and you needed like a spoolie. This one is comes in just one package so i was so excited when they released this it has a comb side and a brush side and then the product in here that is white i tried this the other day and i really really like it i am making a video tomorrow to see if this lasts me all day when i go to work if you want to watch that please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell finally i splurged on this because they finally came to canada and i really needed some exfoliation products and these were summer scents that I really 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 want these are tree hot scrubs these got so hyped up and I really didn't buy into the hype until I started self tanning when you self tan you need to scrub your skin really well to make sure the tan glides on your skin and is not patchy I got four different scents the first scent I got is the tree hut shea sugar scrub in Moroccan rose this smells so beautiful and Oh, it does smell like a rose. They're very good with their scents. The next one I got is in the scent Peach Sorbet. Now this is just such a summery scent. It smells like oranges and peaches. It just, it smells good. I don't like citrus, but this one is an exception. The next one, oh my gosh, it looks like a watermelon and it smells just like watermelon. I swear, if I was blindfolded, I would eat this. I wonder if this is edible. It's got niacinamide and vegan collagen. Unlike the other two, that's just a Shea butter scrub. Okay, the last one, last one, last one, is the Coco Colada flavor. I mean, scent. Scent. Don't eat it. This smells like coconut and pineapple, and let me tell you... Oh, when they say coconut and pineapple, that is what you smell. You smell coconut and pineapple. Like, I don't know how they do it. There must be coconut and pineapple in here because it smells just like that. I must say, this must be my favorite scent. My second favorite is the watermelon. And these will be my go-tos for the summer right before I self-tan. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in this little haul journey. If you do like these type of videos, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you'd like to see next. Like this video if you did. And hit that notification bell to be informed when I upload. If you would like to support me further, please hit the videos here 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 and here and i hope to see you in my next video bye oh that outro had no mistakes first time first time